Chapter Two of Song of Solomon, Young's Literal Translation. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Chapter Two. As a lily among the thorns, so is my friend among the daughters. As a citron among trees of the forest, so is my beloved among the sons. In his shade I delighted and sat down, and his fruit is sweet to my palate. He hath brought me in unto a house of wine, and his banner over me is love. Sustain me with grape cakes, support me with citrons, for I am sick with love. His left hand is under my head, and his right doth embrace me. I have adjured you, daughters of Jerusalem, by the rows or by the hinds of the field. Stir not up nor wake the love till she please. The voice of my beloved, lo this, he is coming, leaping on the mountains, skipping on the hills. My beloved is like to a roe or to a young one of the hearts. Lo this, he is standing behind our wall, looking from the windows, blooming from the lattice. My beloved hath answered and said to me, Rise up, my friend, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter hath passed by, the rain hath passed away, it hath gone. The flowers have appeared in the earth, the time of the singing hath come, and the voice of the turtle was heard in our land. The fig tree hath ripened her green figs, and the sweet-smelling vines have given forth fragrance. Rise, come, my friend, my fair one, yea, come away. My dove, in clefts of the rock, in a secret place of the ascent, cause me to see thine appearance, cause me to hear thy voice. For thy voice is sweet, and thy appearance comely. Seize ye for us foxes, little foxes, destroyers of vineyards, even our sweet-smelling vineyards. My beloved is mine, and I am his who is delighting among the lilies. Till the day doth break forth, and the shadows have fled away. Turn, be like my beloved, to a row or to a young one of the hearts on the mountains of separation. End of chapter 2